Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. In the previous video, I have implemented the functionality of update car API in Spring Boot. Today in this video, I'm going to call this API from Angular. So let's get started. You can see here the Angular application. I'm going to add few variables on the top in TS. So first one is a image changed and it will be a by default false. And second, I'm going to add here that is a selected file. And here I'm going to add the type of this variable that is a any. And third, I'm going to add here image preview. And it will be a type of a string. And here I'm going to add array buffer. And the null over here. So let's go to our update car component.html. And here I'm going to uncomment these two divs, the image, and second, that is a div for the image preview. So let me copy this method and go to our TS. And here I'm going to create this method. And in the argument, it will receive an event and it will be a type of any. And here we need to call a variable that is a distort selected file and here we need to give event dot target dot files after that we need to call here this dot image change variable and here we need to assign true After that, I'm going to add here the start existing image, and here we need to assign the null. And the fourth, we need to call here method that is a distort preview image. So let me create this method after that. In this method, I'm going to add here the variable that is a const reader. We need to read the file. So here I'm going to initialize with new file reader. After that, I'm going to call here method that is a reader dot on load. And here I'm going to add array function where we need to call this dot image preview in request to reader dot result. After the array function, we need to call here reader dot read data as URL, and here we need to pass this dot selected file. So let me add here the request to okay. After that, I'm going to create here a method called API from our admin service. So the method name that is a update R. So let's go to our postcar component.ts and here I'm going to copy these functionality and I'm going to add into this method and we need to get all these inputs from update form. So here we need to pass update form. So here I'm going to add if condition where we will check this dot img changed and and this dot selected file then we need to append this so let me cut from here and I'm going to add in the if condition so let's go to our admin service and here i'm going to create a method so let me copy this method and add after that so the name of the method that is a update car and in the argument it will receive car dto and the car id so here i'm going to add car id that is a type of a number and here we need to add the mapping that is a port and second we need to pass here the url that is a slash api slash admin slash car and slash 
car id so here i'm going to add car id and after that we need to pass here car dt object so we need to call this method from our ds so here i'm going to call this method and second we need to pass here this dot car id with the car dt object let me inject this message service in our constructor so here it will be a private message from and the message service and we also need to inject the router in our constructor so here i'm going to add private router from router let's save this okay so here i'm going to change the message that is a car updated successfully in case of error we need to show the error that is a error while updating car so we need to invoke this method so let's go to our update car component dot html and here i'm going to add click event on this button so it will be a click and the banana brackets around the click on this click button we need to call method that is update car let's test the api here i'm going to log in the admin let me open here the inspect so i want to update this car so let me click on this update button and it's navigating us to update car component so here i'm going to change the file let's choose the file and here i'm going to change the name that is a xc92 and here i'm going to change the color that is a white and the model year i'm going to change 2024 and the price i'm going to update this and the description that is xc92 let's click on this update button and you can see we got a response car updated successfully and you can see the name and you can see the updated price model year and the color so let's post a new car so here i'm going to choose file and here i'm going to select the brand that is a ferrari and the name that is 296 gts and here i'm going to select type hybrid transmission automatic select color i'm going to add here blue model year 2024 price i'm going to add here 1200 and the name that is a ferrari 296 gts let's post the car and you can see car posted successfully and you can see the posted car let's update this car so here i'm going to click on this update button let's choose a file and here i'm going to change the name like 300 gts v and i'm going to change the color that is a gray and the model i'm going to select here 2025 and the price let's update the car and you can see the response that is a car updated successfully and it's also navigate us to admin dashboard and you can see the updated car so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye